Sony Computer Entertainment presents Super Massive Games. Until dawn. And with that I say, hey guys and girls, it's your Richard Nader again, and today I'm going to start until dawn. Guys and girls, we start a new story. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane. What? I don't, couldn't read it completely. The smallest decision dram dramatically changed the future. Will dramatically change the future. Yeah, yeah. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. I will. I will. Okay, here we are in the... at the mansion. Uh huh. Interesting. 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 Okay, what's going on here? We saw a woman, and we see a house in the woods, and a man. Oh, one, two, three, four peoples, and one of them, or five peoples, and one of them is outside. Okay, wait a sec. I have to go back to turn on the, uh... Okay. Well... She has a huge crush on Diana. I'm making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? There's... Okay, the woman is going in here. Com is completely alone. Hannah! She's calling out for Hannah. Wait a sec. What is going on? Oh, they are uh, hiding. <laughs> they want to play hide and seek. Mike. They want to play hide and seek with her. All right. Okay. So, uh, what is going on? Oh, the man is still outside. He probably wants to kill one of them or... Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Okay. Josh! Okay. Now I can turn on the uh, subtitles because I... Need it to just uh Okay Now I can now we can also read the subtitles It's locked okay can I go upstairs? I can't. Oh, what a great time! What's this? Oh, tutorial. So look, look around. Objects that glint. Oh, something. Uh, something is glinting here. 
Eh? Uh, wasn't something glinting here? Oh! Hi there. Press R uh, to, to hold, pick up the note. Okay. Um. RS, uh, R2. Huh? Eh, 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 eh. Right stick. Hannah, you look so damn hot. Is that shirt, uh, in that shirt. But I bet you're even better out, hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. X, X, X. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Intervention time. Okay. Let's go. So I have to get upstairs into the room. Huh? Nope. Okay. Okay. Is something else glinting here that I can pick up? Okay, no, just a. Oh! There is something glinting over there. I've seen it. Um, nope. Already, uh, have already read it. I've already read it, okay. That message. Something else here that is glinting. Okay. Guys and girls, I'm quite lost. She said intervention time. So I inter have to intervene as some kind of action. Oh. Oh. Jeez, Josh. What? Outdone us all. Oh. Some kind of schnapps. I've got your note. Hannah, Mike. What the fuck? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. She should take off her shirt and he wants to get her? L <clears throat> what? Oh my god! Matt! What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah! I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's so all good. Much. I can't Just live. Well, <laughs> this got all the. Oh. Guys and girls. Stupid prank. Uh, I don't know what happened here. Guys are jerks. You know that? Uh, find others with Josh. Uh, find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Okay, find the others. Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Bev. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! Oh shit. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> ah! Um, safe. Are you going the safe way?
I don't know. Uh, follow footprints. Uh, dears. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Okay. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Okay, Hannah is dead. I've got the feeling that she's dead. Hell no. The status update. Hannah. Okay, I don't get it with the light beam yet, but, uh, okay. Okay. Whoa! Sheesh. Hey. Okay. What's this? I want to inspect it. No, no, no. Um, mm, mm, take it up for. Oh, dear lord. Okay. Totem prophecies. Black death. The possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous, in, indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will deter determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Oh, damn. Okay, this is not good. Oh, no. I waited a minute. Inspect. Uh. Oh, okay, nothing more, nothing that okay. Huh? I have no idea Hannah! what to do right now. Whoa! There was fire, my dear lady. Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb.
My phone. Shit. Okay. What are we doing now? Let go. Okay. Oh shit, no. That was the wrong decision. That was the fucking wrong decision. The analyst. Oh dear lord. Hmm. <sighs> I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Yes. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Mm. It makes me happy or I feel uneasy? Um, I feel uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Uh, I'm not sure. If it is something you cannot see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, is there something in the house? Uh, no, it's not there. Ah, so, if it's not in the house, then I what? Mean, where do you think it is? Uh, it's in the field, I guess. I see. And is this threat human, or is there some other fear that you had that you would like to talk to me about? Hmm. I think it's not human. An inhuman threat. That's fascinating. Ah, well, perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next. I'm afraid we've run out of time. What? That's it? A dog!
Okay, guys and girls. Hannah and Beth are both dead. Both. Simply dead. Is the game con does the game continue? I think so. Otherwise it would be a pretty short game. Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction projects and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. And I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> okay. Well, that was a weird one. Blackwood Pines. Alrighty. <laughs> Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Oof. 
there's was some kind of guy who has a knife. Sammy, Hannah's best friend, considerative adventurous. Diligent Sammy. Okay. Hello? Sam. Someone there? Yes. And I Sam, path to cable car station. Twenty one zero two. Use her to move the camera. I know that. Don't get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, what? The girl, the gates busted. <sighs> Climb over, Chris. <sighs> Uh, uh, better way safe. <clears throat> oh, shit. <sighs> eh. Again, safe way, please. Uh, climb. Okay. Okay. Something is completely odd here, guys and girls. Aww. And the don't move icon is on screen. Keep the wireless controller still. Huh? Shit! Yes, as I put the controller on my knee, uh, uh, it don't move that much because I've got quite shaky hands. What does it say? Indigenous <laughs> people and butterfly pro prophecies. Okay, two tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown. Butter brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of lucky and good fortune. Alrighty. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Oh shit, Guidance Totem. Indigenous tribes believe that by broad dreams and each totem provides uh, guidance. A vision of guidance for future choice. Whether, is or, uh, whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems they will of the past will become clear. Okay. 
Nice. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on what. Press R1 at any time for you to view your totem collection. Yeah, it's okay. The past is beyond our control. Interesting. Wow, we're speeding all the way up to here. Okay. Okay, nothing to do in this direction, then let's go to in the other direction. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Chris? Are you here? The door isn't moving, okay. Not in the bag, are you? It's... <laughs> Chris has a crush on Ashley. Protective humorous. Methodical, Chris, okay. You scared me. I, I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, well thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. <laughs> oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What is it? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Mind. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. <coughs> Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead. Cable car station. 2111. All, right. All right, he goes. goes. Yeah, haha. <laughs> no, no, come here. I can't shoot. Please don't let me do this. I'm not a shooter, okay? Uh. Yeah. I'm a badass. I'm, bad ah. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Butterfly effect update. Status update. Clue found. Milgram Victor. Nice. Sex male. Hate. Six feet two. Last known address. Blackwood Pines. Last seen 360-1998. One in connection with the first degree arson uh, 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 
of offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding with this with this uh, regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mount contact Constabulary Police Monty Provincial D Blackwood. July nineteen ninety eight. One of those to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He, he said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. For you. Oh, a real gentleman. Yeah, a real gentleman. I know. <sighs> I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of getting time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. You're not so rich. You only bought a mountain. Only bought a mountain. Eh, interesting. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, good talk. <laughs> nice. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. <clears throat> you know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. Match made in heaven. Nah. <laughs> for the fact that Gene Simmons hit puberty like three years early. Okay. That day decided to wear a low cut shirt. That's a weird way to problem. meet friends. I mean, who knows? Okay, you but, well, car right? Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Low. Well, sounds pretty nice if you think so. <clears throat> Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Upper cable cast station, 2117. <clears throat> what the hell? 
Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, thanks, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotic might <laughs> would Jessica be capable of imagining? I'm oh my goodness, what the fuck? Um. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosy <laughs> in other people's <laughs> nostrils. Uh, 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 yeah, nosy no. <laughs> <laughs> no oh my goodness, what a gosh. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> yeah, probably. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Ah! I mean, you know, whoever. He probably uh, has a, a suspicion. <laughs> That she loves Mike or likes Mike. Sometimes I forget it's good to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Nice. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. And where's the bellboy when you need Matt, Washington Lodge grounds. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Yeah. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Mike! Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Okay. You guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool! <laughs> yeah, he's indeed a jerk. I also would have uh, snapped at him if he would have... Uh, Completely shocked me. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Uh, Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. True that, though. Um, welcome. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward. And we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trail. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. This guy was... This guy was weird. <gasps> Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. <sighs> so important i guess i can pack horse it the rest of the way but you owe me one excuse me well the more even at least i'll think about it just be careful 
See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Sweet. That was sweet. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, thought, fry. <sighs> yes, Ashley, Washington Lodge grounds, 2132. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. They're not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. <laughs> whoa! Oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Oh scare you. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, wow, man, I'm I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with us there? Uh. It, Let me check it out. I don't, uh, Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just what? It's, uh, For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a box or something. No, really, Matt. It's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no, no. All right. Uh, sure. If you say so. Status update. Jessica, upper cable car station, 2142, uh, 2141. That's 9.41 p.m., if I'm correct. Uh, check phone. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hand where I can see it. We've got you surrounded. Who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Bam! If hey! Bam! Oh snap! <laughs> Hello! Come on! <laughs> hey Mike! <laughs> Boom! Shaka okay. laka! Oh, you got me! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing do, to do. I know all your tricks. Bam! Whoa! Wow. Right! One, two, three. And then what? Ho -ho. No more! Oh, oh yeah, oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. <laughs> okay, that Snowball crazy, Queen. Dirty. Oh. <laughs> Ah. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. 
We should get up to the lodge. All right. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. Oh, I mean, it's getting hot. Ever provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out. Quote unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere between those quotes. Yeah. Status update. <clears throat> Huh? Why? This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, <laughs> turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Oh, uh, man worries me, woman. Men worry me, women worry me. Hmm. Hmm. Crowds scare me, planes scare me. Planes. I fear hates, I fear drowning. Drowning would fear me more than hates. Even though I can swim, nobody knows. Snakes scare me more. Especially if they are big. Rats I can avoid, but snakes, uh, snakes, knives or guns. You can not, you can avoid knives, but never avoid guns because gun bullets are faster but everyone has knives in their house and everyone can freak out and take a knife but not everyone can has guns in their houses so I don't know at least here in Germany in America is completely different everyone can have a gun and can shoot and also everyone has a knife, so I fear the knife more than the gun. <clears throat> Cockroaches. They are disgusting. I don't know. Scarecrows. Both look completely... Gore... Disgusts me. Crows are scary. What? Gore. Oh. See that startling? No. So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. You don't startle me at all. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. The cockroaches, spiders, uh, uh, spiders. God disgusts me. Yeah, zombies. Uh, God disgusts me. I don't fear dogs at all. The storm, uh, the God disgusts me more than storm scares me. This is very interesting. 
Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> no problem there, though. Spiders, zombies, it's an awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> no, thank you, dude. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. <clears throat> okay, guys and girls, previously on Until Dawn. Year later. To the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Like Two jealousy, nine it's hours until climate, dawn. Yeah? That feels the same to me. Josh, complete, complex, Anna's best brother, complex, thoughtful, loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, gang. You guys get up here okay? <sighs> Could have done with some bellboys, but uh, hey, can't get everything. Yeah, it was pretty easy. A little creepy, though. I mean, it's really weird being back here. Chris. Yo, yo, yo. We get things 10 p.m. Yeah, man. Um, gossip learn. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time, you know, like we always used to. Damn it! This freaking thing. It's ice. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, Cochise. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Mm, good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Yep. All right, guys and gods. Here, I end this part and say, see you in the next part video, whatever you call it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below in the comment section. Ring the notification bell and see ya. You're each other. Bye.